please feel free. Chris, uh, getting close uh, in the second half, you really uh, took on an added responsibility, drove to the basket, helped really uh, bring you guys over that. Well, was that what you were trying to do? Uh, did you Were you trying to take added responsibility there uh, and try to guide you guys there? Oh, I was not trying to take the responsibility. The, the coaches told me to keep attacking because we had an advance. We, we got bigger guards, and Coach Barron just told me to keep attacking the ball, and that's what I did. Billy, they, they held you guys to 33% in the first half. It was really a tell of two halves. I mean, what do you see change, especially after that 10 minute mark when you guys really started working that run? We were more patient. Um, we utilized Chris's size and his strength down low. Um, he did a, a great job imposing his will down there. He was extremely patient. I know one. <laughs> One play where the shot clock was running down, he just simply made a counter move, went to his left, and got a nice layup. And I think that shows, you know, his experience with the game. You know, that's that's something we really need him to do. We need him to, to continue to do. But we we really fed. I mean, not only do we feed off Chris in the post, but we also fed um, off of our defense. Billy, you had you and Chris working in the second half, and then Phil Valeni kind of came in and added a lot for you guys. What did that mean for you? Phil was the X factor. I know when I missed that three. He, he grabbed that rebound and put it in. I mean, that was huge. And he literally left on the floor tonight. And, you know, he's always active in practice every single day. You know, he's running around like his head's cut off. Um, but that's what we need him to do. I mean, he's not the strongest guy in the world, but he's going he's gonna to work for it. You know, he's going to make up for that. And he was one of the huge reasons why we won this game tonight. He almost got his head cut off. How's he doing? What you said? He almost got his head cut off. How's he doing? Yeah, he'll be all right. It's kind of like this. Yeah. Uh, he'll need a few stitches, but he'll be back on Saturday. Billy, um, against St. Bonaventure, the wheel started to kind of fall off, and it just got worse. But if you guys got down 11 and you fought back. Talk about how this game was so much different than Bonaventure. It's, it's the chemistry. Uh, I think Chris will bother me, too. It's the chemistry. I mean, we have really come together a lot in such a short period of time that, uh, that goes to speak for the character of the guys in the locker room. Um, everyone's buying into this process. We have, we have four seniors and we're trying to lead these guys. And I think we're doing a, a great job of it, but we can't be satisfied. Um, you know, we, we really saw what we needed to do to stop them from making shots. We went to zone, but we also kind of played the play. Um, you know, number three wasn't a really great shooter. So, you know, we kind of forced him to almost make plays. Um, but I think it was just an overall great team effort. We had each other's back. We were, we were there for help, defense, charges. Jordan took a great charge. And then we just rebounded the ball great. Phil and Jordan were, were really, you know, they imposed their will on the rebounds. Take one more for the guys, please. Philly, we've seen you take over games with big shots. We saw Jordan with the three ball uh, a couple days ago. How nice is it to see Chris do it the old-fashioned way? Back to the bucket, get the ball in the post, and take advantage of that uh, kind of mismatch here. It was, uh, it was extremely relieving. When he made that play and he went back to his left, I just kind of smiled, you know, I was like, you know, there he is, and uh, that's the type of player he is. Um, he's extremely patient, he can take you outside, he can take you inside, he's got strength, probably the strongest guy on the team, and he really, he was a man down there tonight, and they weren't ready for him. Did you go against Chris? Yeah, no, he's got him. <laughs> Chris will tell you that too. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you. A couple of notes for you.